Imagine a future where incoming rockets never reach their targets, where missiles are intercepted mid-air in seconds, and where invisible beams of light silently neutralize threats before they even become dangerous. Now imagine that this future is an American made but led by a much smaller nation, one that has turned relentless conflict into relentless innovation. That nation is Israel. And today we're breaking down how Israel not only built the Iron Dome, one of the most successful missile interception systems in human history, but also how it advanced laser defense technology so rapidly that it's now surpassing even the world's largest military power, the United States. This isn't just a story about weapons, it's a story about survival, engineering brilliance, and a defense revolution that is reshaping warfare around the globe. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, how Israel managed to leapfrog the United States in Iron Dome and High, energy laser defense technology, and what makes these systems stand out in terms of exterior design, interior architecture, performance safety features, unique selling points, pricing, and what the future could look like. The first thing that captures attention when looking at Israel's Iron Dome or its newer laser-based iron beam system is their exterior presence. They don't look futuristic in a science fiction sense, but rather brutally functional, stripped down, and engineered purely around operational effectiveness. The Iron Dome launcher is a compact, boxy structure made to be moved quickly, deployed rapidly, and endure harsh battlefield conditions. Its exterior emphasizes rug durability instead of aesthetics. Mounted on a rotating platform, the launcher holds multiple interceptor missiles in sealed canisters angled upward like a set of precision tools waiting to be activated. What stands out is the simplicity, no unnecessary contours, no decorative elements, just a clean, modular design that prioritizes fast targeting and rapid reloads. The newer Iron Beam laser system has an even more understated exterior. It resembles a mix between a radar station and a compact energy facility. Instead of missile pods, you see heavily shielded compartments, cooling systems, and a stabilized turret where the laser emitter sits. It looks industrial and minimalistic, almost quiet in appearance, which makes the idea of it firing a 100 kilowatt laser beam even more astonishing. The simplicity masks the sophistication, and that contrast is part of what impresses military analysts worldwide. Israel designed these systems not to look powerful, but to be powerful. The exterior is pure function, optimized for battlefield resilience, rapid transport, and low maintenance, qualities that have become the gold standard in modern defensive engineering. Inside these systems, the interior is surprisingly compact, dense, and purpose-built. There's no wasted space. The Iron Dome's interior layout focuses on processing units, real-time threat assessment computers, encrypted communication modules, and power management systems. Everything is intentionally placed to handle massive data loads and split second decision-making. The Iron Beam's interior is similar but houses advanced solid-state lasers, power amplifiers, thermal regulation systems, and AI-driven optical targeting hardware. Though small, the interiors pack an extraordinary amount of technological sophistication, turning minimal space into maximum defensive capability. It feels like looking into a compact supercomputer engineered specifically for survival. Performance is where Israel begins to truly pull ahead. The Iron Dome has achieved an estimated interception success rate around 90% in real world combat something that no other missile defense system in history has consistently matched. Its radar system tracks incoming rockets, calculates trajectories within seconds, and determines whether a projectile poses a threat. Only then does it fire an interceptor missile. This selective engagement feature saves money, conserves ammunition, 
and allows the system to remain active during prolonged attacks. The U.S. has missile defense systems like the Patriot and TH-8, but those are designed for high-altitude, long-range threats and are far more expensive to use. Iron Dome fills a gap the U.S. never prioritized as heavily low, cost short, range defense against saturation attacks. This is where Israel's innovation shines. Constant, real-time threats forced Israel to engineer rapid, adaptive, and economical solutions. And the, the performance advantage isn't just about hitting targets. It's about how quickly the system can reset, track new threats, and fire again. During heavy barrages, Iron Dome batteries have intercepted dozens of rockets simultaneously across multiple locations. That kind of battle-tested data-driven performance is something most nations simply don't have the conditions to develop. The iron beam takes performance to another level entirely. A laser system doesn't require missiles or propellants. It fires a beam of directed energy at near the speed of light. That means virtually no delay, no risk of running out of ammunition, and almost instantaneous engagement. Early tests have shown Israel's laser system burning through incoming drones, rockets, and mortar shells in a matter of seconds. While the technology is still evolving, it already represents a performance leap that even the United States hasn't yet fully achieved. The U.S. has laser weapons under development, but none are as close to operational deployment at scale as Israel's iron beam. The performance advantage lies not just in raw power, but in readiness and practicality. Israel's tight geography, relentless rocket threats, and urgency turned what the U.S. considered long-term research into a near-term necessity. Safety features are another critical factor. Missile interception systems aren't just about destroying incoming projectiles. They're about protecting civilians, infrastructure, and military personnel while minimizing collateral damage. Iron Dome does this exceptionally well because it calculates where a rocket will land before deciding whether to intercept. It only fires when a rocket threatens populated areas or vital assets. That means fewer explosions in the sky, fewer fragments falling into civilian zones, and a more controlled defensive response. The system's radar and communication networks are hardened against cyber attacks, ensuring reliability even under electronic warfare conditions. For Iron Beam, safety features shift into a different dimension. Using lasers eliminates explosive interceptors, meaning no debris from defensive missiles and no danger of misfires or accidental detonation. The system also incorporates thermal regulators to keep the beam stable, advanced optics to limit atmospheric scatter, and AI targeting to prevent accidental engagement of friendly assets. Unlike traditional missile defense systems, a laser system doesn't add additional explosive risk to the battlefield. It provides silent, clean interception with virtually zero secondary effects. That's a massive advantage in urban environments, something Israel has had to prioritize because of how close threats often originate. What makes these systems uniquely compelling compared to U.S. equivalents comes down to several core selling points. First is cost. Iron Dome interceptors cost a fraction of what U.S. systems require, around 50,000 per shot compared to the Patriots' multi-million dollar intercepts. Iron Beam brings that cost down even further to just a few dollars of electricity per laser shot. This kind of cost efficiency is unheard of in modern defense technology and gives Israel a strategic advantage. The ability to sustain continuous defensive operations without financially draining the country. Second is scalability. The Iron Dome can be deployed in small, mobile batteries that protect different regions, while the Iron Beam can be integrated with existing radar and command systems. This modularity appeals to nations that need effective defense without massive infrastructure. The U.S. military, on the other hand, operates globally and must integrate systems across vast distances with different architectures. 
Israel's compact geography allows for tighter, faster, more optimized systems that focus purely on defending high density areas. Third is real world combat validation. Israel's defense systems have been tested under the harshest conditions imaginable. They aren't theoretical, experimental, or limited to controlled test environments. They've been used in thousands of real intercepts. That level of data, refinement, and iterative improvement is something the U.S. simply cannot replicate because the need is not as constant or concentrated. Combat proven technology tends to attract massive international interest, which is why nations like South Korea, India, and several European countries have negotiated or considered purchasing versions of the Iron Dome or collaborating on its technologies. Fourth is rapid innovation cycles. Israel's defense industry operates in close coordination with the military and government allowing faster prototyping, quicker feedback loops, and fewer bureaucratic delays. When a threat evolves, the technology evolves right behind it. The U.S. defense industry, while extremely advanced, is slowed by bureaucracy, large-scale procurement processes, and multi-branch coordination. Israel's agility lets it outpace America in specific niches like short-range defense and laser interception. Pricing is one of the most dramatic differences between Israel's systems and U.S. systems. The Iron Dome battery itself is expensive, roughly 100 million, but the interceptors are relatively cheap. When the U.S. buys Patriot missiles, each interceptor can cost three to five million dollars. In contrast, a 50,000 for an Iron Dome Tamir interceptor makes sustained defense economically feasible. Then there's Iron Beam. Once operational, its cost per shot could drop to as low as two to twenty dollars depending on power levels. This pricing revolutionizes defense economics. It means that instead of spending hundreds of thousands or millions per intercepted threat, a country could defend itself with small bursts of electricity for nations facing drone swarms, rocket attacks, or mortar threats. That price point is game changing. It democratizes high level defense by making it affordable. The conclusion is where everything comes together. Israel's rise in missile and laser defense technology isn't accidental. It's the result of decades of necessity driven innovation, a focused military industrial ecosystem and a national mindset that treats defense not as an optional investment, but as a requirement for survival. The United States remains the world's largest military power with unmatched capabilities in strategic defense, long range missile systems, global deployment and advanced aerospace technology. But in the specific arena of short range interception and laser based defense, Israel has forged ahead with groundbreaking speed and efficiency by making missile defense cheaper, faster, smarter and more adaptable. Israel has changed the future of modern warfare where America built massive, powerful systems focused on global threats. Israel built compact, agile systems focused on immediate survival and in doing so, it created a new benchmark for defensive innovation, one that even the world's largest military now looks to for inspiration. The Iron Dome and Iron Beam prove that smaller nations can surpass superpowers when urgency, creativity, and engineering align. And as laser weapons begin to shape the next era of military technology, Israel isn't just participating in the race, it's leading it.